So, I wasn't going to make this video- Okay, let's start from the beginning. I got a PC VR headset. I got an HTC Vive, and it is fantastic. It's been working fantastic for me. I've had a lot of fun playing Beat Saber and Boneworks and all those great games. But, I wanted to do Blender VR. But then, as I did some research, I learned that the Blender VR plugin does not support HTC Vive or Steam VR. Now, I was trying to search for good plugins or whatever to use so I could use my HTC Vive, and I couldn't find anything. And then I went back to my virtual reality video, and I found what I need. So, you must have heard me talk about Blender XR. If you didn't, go watch the video right now. It's pretty interesting, but I downloaded Blender XR, and I am able to enter my very own projects in virtual reality. I literally got this working like 20 minutes ago, and I need to make this video now. It is f***ing incredible. Alright, so right here, as you can see, I've made a low-poly campfire scene. Um, if I play it, as you can see, I got little animations running, I got the fire, I've got the trees slowly waving, I've even got the bushes kind of conjobulating, I don't know. This is just a scene. I suppose you could render or even make an animation, that's cool. But what I'm about to do is absolutely incredible. Now, I'm not going to make a tutorial on how to do this just yet, because I still got to I'd have to formulate all my ideas and I'd have to reinstall everything and I'm just not ready to make a tutorial, I'm still experimenting, but enough talking. Enough talking. Let's show you how to I'm just I'm just going to get right into it. So, you got to make sure you have Steam VR running, which at the current moment I don't. I'm about to turn that on right now. All right, so while Steam VR is running uh, or turning on, um, all you have to do is you go under window and then you go new VR window, of course when you're opening the Blender XR version. Um, okay, Steam VR is on. Let me just minimize that to not disturb the view for you guys. Um, and let me activate Blender XR. So new new VR window. Okay, now now we're in. Now you can see it's in VR. So you guys aren't gonna be able to hear me for a while, but I'm I'm just gonna set up the view and then I'll talk some more. All right. So if you can hear me right now, I'm in the Blender VR viewport and as you can see I've got my blender project in solid view all around me I've got my Vive controllers right here I'm on a HTC Vive in my blender project in blender so now to move around you just use the grip button as you can see it's very free form to increase the project size you would uh, hold both grip buttons down and pull apart and if you want to shrink it you grab the two grip buttons and close it apart. And as you can see, we've got a mini project right in front of us, but that's not what we're here to do. We're here to experience this thing in its full-fledged self. Now this is very disorienting. All right, now you can't see right now because my VR headset's on the ground, but I'm about to put it in rendered view and play the animation. <laughs> this is insane. Oh my god! So, I've got a literal burning fire in front of me. The trees around me are waving. The bushes are waving. I'm sitting on a log. My tent is right there. It's dark at night, and you can look up into the starry sky. Or if you're feeling spicy, you can try and see the glowing red eyes I hit around the map. This is... Absolutely incredible! I'm getting the most fantastic frames. I'm in Blender VR. So I'm going to shrink my project here. This is insane. We literally took this project that I made with my very own hands and just chilled in it in virtual reality. This is my first step into Blender VR, and I already think this is absolutely incredible. I hope you guys are ex as excited as I am, because I'm going to dive into this. I'm going to learn how to use it. I'm hopefully going to make some tutorials on it, but this is insane. Thank you guys so much for watching.